TYT THUV88 is a basic entry-level ham radio, yet it's remarkable in the way it offers a whole range of features and options, going beyond its peers and competitors. Speaking of the competition, the radio is obviously geared towards the current reigning champion of entry-level ham radios, the Baofeng UV5R. TYT's radio offers several better choices than Baofeng's famous handheld ham radio. Compared to the UV5R, TYT THUV88 has a better build quality, a sharper display, and a better antenna setup. TYT also offers 200 channels as compared to the 128 on Baofeng UV5R. Its audio output is also louder, though not necessarily better than the UV5R. It's worth pointing out that the UV5R is still cheaper than the TYT, so it's pricing that floats your boat. The small improvements that TYT offer may not give it the edge over the UV5R. Another competing ham radio, and one more closely priced to the TYT THUV88, is the Redivis RT85. This radio offers the same advantages over the UV5R, though it's its overall appeal is very similar to the TYT THUV88. To put it crudely, Redivis RT85 is pretty much the same radio as TYT THUV88, though in a slightly different body. It is these small changes with the build and quality that make TYT THUV88 such an interesting radio at this price point. The display on this radio won't knock you out, but it's still bright, clear, and easily readable. The purplish backlight is not flattering, but it does its job. You can adjust the backlight in seven intensity settings to get to the right fit. Some may Manuals and literature from TYT refer to this as colors. It's not color, but the brightness or intensity. Mistakes like this are a big part of why the manual ends up being so confusing. Generally speaking, if you have the TYT THUV88 VHF UHF radio, it might be better to look at the manual of the Redivis RT85. The radios are very similar, but the manual from Redivis is many times better than TYT's. But not all is off course with this radio. TYT THUV88 has more to offer. One interesting aspect is the included programming cable with the radio. It's a simple enough cable, but somehow the programming cable and radio work better than Baofeng UV5R and its cable. The data transfer is fast and reliable. THUV88 is compatible with other programming options and works well with TYT's own software as well as with Chirp. Another good quality of this radio is the antenna. The radio uses an SMA antenna with a female connector. While it isn't special by itself, it is a rarity at this price range. This setup also opens doors for more possibilities. You could easily connect a better antenna with this ham radio. People who are using the TYT THUV88 as a backup radio or have a better antenna available can benefit from this setup. Finally, let's talk about the battery and power. UV88 runs at a 1400 mAh lithium ion battery. Though the battery is small, it is good enough for the radio's needs and can power it for a day. The maximum RF power output is 5 watts and a low power option is available as well. Switching between high low power is as easy as the touch of a button. To sum up what we like is the attractive price point. Good build quality for the price. The voice quality is loud and clear and the display has adjustable brightness settings and is clear. On the downside, the manual is barely helpful and difficult to understand, and the radio interface can feel confusing. Our rating for functionality is 8 out of 10. Reliability, 7 out of 10. Battery, 7 out of 10. Value for money, 9 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8 out of 10.